Hey guys, what's up? Still over here, and today I'm bringing you guys what I think the best classes in Black Ops 2 are. And I did get this game about a week early, so I do have a lot more experience than most people have that just got the game. Uh, so that's why I'm just giving you guys my opinion on what the best class setup is. And of course, this is all about personal choice. You guys can feel free to make any changes you want if you decide to use this class. Uh, but this is just my opinion, so just make sure you have that in mind. And uh, one more thing, we actually will be doing a giveaway. And as for the giveaway, I'll talk a little bit more about the giveaway at the end of the video. So let's uh, just make sure you stay tuned for this entire video so you get to uh, enter into the giveaway at the end. So for my first class, I chose the MP7, and this is a close quarters combat class. The MP7 is very good for close range, and uh, in this game, Black Ops 2, I find that attachments work way better than perks, so I always try to max out my attachment slots. The attachments basically are perks. Uh, laser Sight is uh, Steady Aim, Fast Mag is Sleight of Hand, and Quick Draw is basically the perk Quick Draw. So I definitely like using attachments a lot, so I use the Primary Gunfighter. And uh, that's just what I think works best for this gun, you know, you get to reload fast, steady aim because it's close combat, and you also get to aim quicker, which is really good for winning those uh, those gunfights. You get about an extra second to shoot since you got quick draw uh, if you, you know, just pop out in an enemy, so that's really good. And then for the perks, I have a bit rushy class, so this is really used for rushing since it's close quarters. Uh, so I got lightweight and marathon, and then cold-blooded just because I'm rushing, I don't want them to see my name all the time. And then I got the Semtex, just to, you know, throw it around. I like having that as well. And then now our next class, I call it Pro because I use this a lot. I actually made a video about this class. And uh, this is what I think the best gun in the game is. It's completely my opinion. Keep that in mind. If you want to see the reason why I think this is the best gun, there will be a link in the description below. You could go check out this video. But as for this class, this is a really accurate gun. And just to make it more accurate, I threw on Grip just to make it even more better than it already is. It's the M27. And then I chose quick draws just so you could win those gunfights quicker. You get about an extra second. And then red dot just so you have the max accuracy as possible. And then I also have lightweight and extreme conditioning. These two seem to be my most favorite perks. I like running around quicker. I just hate waiting just to get to the enemy spawn or whatever. I just like to run. And then I also have hardline because this is a class where I try to go for the higher kill streaks. So hardline is definitely good for that. And as I said before, I like to use attachments a lot more than perks, so I have all three down. And then uh, a really good pistol, I think the best pistol in the game is the B23R, and this thing is basically like the Rafika from MW2. I love using this pistol, so definitely give that a try, so that's why I chose for this class in case I just need it. Uh, so our next class is the shotgun class, I call it the Boomstick, it has a cool name. And uh, for this class, we chose the KSG. I think the KSG is one of the best shotguns in the game, uh, simply because out of all the other shotguns, this is the only shotgun that shoots slugs. It says right there, pump action slug shotgun. So it's only one. It's only got one single bullet coming out of there, not a bunch of pellets. So it's always going to be a one-hit kill at just about any distance unless you're really far away from the enemy. Uh, so that's what I really like about this gun. So if you're accurate, it will work out very well. And then for the attachments, I chose the long barrel just to have better accuracy than it already has. And then I would probably choose fast mag because it doesn't reload the quickest. It does reload pretty quick, and you do get a lot of ammo, but that just makes it a little bit better. And as for this, I chose, of course, lightweight and extreme conditioning. And then I just threw on flak jacket for explosives. I like to use this class for Nuketown 2025 playlist. And uh, so flak jacket's good for those explosives. And then dexterity is just, you know, I just like using that. It's a good perk. And then we got the Semtex, that's a really awesome, uh, awesome lethal, I like to use that better than the grenades, so I just threw that on there as well for Nuketown Domination. And uh, now our next class is the Level Up class, I use this class a lot to level up of course. And uh, as I said before, the Vector and the MP7 are I think the best guns, best to at least some machine guns in the game. Uh, so this class, I chose the Vector. I'm still experimenting with the guns. I'm not really sure. And this class, I haven't really used too much. Well, this gun, I haven't used it uh, too much. I've used this class a lot, but not this gun. I'm trying it out. And the Vector seems to be very good for attachments. I didn't actually unlock anything yet. Uh, but if I were to unlock something, I would definitely use probably the Fast Mag or maybe the Foregrip. Not really sure about that. 
Uh, but as for the perks, of course, we still got Lightweight, Extreme Conditioning, that's basically on all my classes. We got Dexterity, Cold-Blooded, so I could run around more in the enemy spawn, and then we got Hardline, and this is at obviously a good rushing around class and also a good hidden class, and if I could, I would definitely be using Ghost. Uh, that way, it's really good for leveling up because I could be running around getting the most amount of kills as possible, and as I'm running around, I could still say pretty well hidden. And uh, this class I definitely would want to use in Nuketown 2025 because uh, when you're playing on Nuketown you meet your enemies a lot quicker which is basically really good for leveling up so that's why I also got the launcher as my secondary so I could shoot down enemy kill streaks, which also makes you level up quicker. Now for our sniper class I named it subscribe so definitely make sure if you ha are new to my channel make sure you subscribe and for this class I chose the DSR, I think this is the best sniper in the game, uh, simply because if you compare the stats on all the snipers, this one has the highest damage, so you're just about going to get a one-shot kill every single snipe on this gun, if you're at least above the hip, that's what I noticed. And as for attachments, definitely, you guys definitely want to use the Ballistas, uh, Ballistic CPU, that's what I realized is the best. And as for a secondary, you could use Fast Mag, it doesn't reload that quickly, so that would be good. Or you could use FMJ that lets you penetrate walls quicker. As you can see, the damage is now maxed out with this one. Uh, but I tend to use Fast Mag. And then the perks, we got Lightweight, Marathon, and then we got Fast Hands. You definitely want Fast Hands for this class because if you miss that first snipe or you're really close to an enemy, you can't quickscope them. Uh, right as you tap Y, you basically already have your pistol out before you even clicked it. So that's really good for just really pulling out your pistol fast and killing the enemy before they even realize that they could kill you. And then we just got perk 1 grade, we're using hardline as well just because I think that's a good fit. Really doesn't matter what you choose, you could choose anything else for that category. Snipers don't really aren't really affected much by the perks, so anything really goes for that. And that's basically it for this class. Also, I forgot to mention we have shock charges, that's good for this class as well. I like shock charges the best out of any equipment. And that's basically it for this class. I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as for the giveaway, I want you guys to subscribe, like this video, and comment down below what gun is your favorite weapon in this game. And then also leave what prize you want to win. Do you want to win a 1600 Microsoft point card, a $20 PSN card, or a $20 GameStop gift card if you're not on a console? That's all you guys got to do for the giveaway if you want to win. Just leave a comment telling me what gun is your favorite like and subscribe and that's basically it i hope you guys enjoyed uh the final rules are in the description and any other videos that you guys want to see regarding this video are also in the description and that's it thanks a lot for watching guys and bye